Star Wars issue 72 sees 3PO told to interpret for Darth Vader, telling the Rock Elders what the Dark Lord wants. The droid hides his comlink so Chewbacca can hear that Darth Vader and the Empire are now on K-43. The Wookiee sets his explosives, but soon a little rock child comes to investigate what the Wookiee is doing, as the Elders say that they will consult one another regarding Vader's offer to join the Empire. As they wait, Vader asks 3PO about his people, the Elders, and if they are as strong as they appear. The droid says that they are and can grow to enormous sizes thanks to their rock bodies. Vader asks about their minds, since he senses no fear in them, and 3PO confirms that, since while they are sentient intelligent beings, they do not have the chemicals in their bloodstreams that allow emotions, thanks to their stone makeup. Vader notes that that means they are like droids, but 3PO says that droids do get very emotional from time to time. Darth Vader knows that these rock monsters don't have a programmer yet, but they will soon. Chewbacca meanwhile quickly deactivates the bombs as stormtroopers find him, firing on him as Vader is notified about the Wookiee, but the troopers are all killed by Chewbacca. The commander tries to raise them on the comms, but Vader says his failure today serves him well and wants him to surround the area but not kill the Wookiee. Since he knows Skywalker wanted to trap them there, and he will keep Chewbacca alive, so they can soon trap Skywalker. Across the universe on Sagia, Luke and Waba make off with the stolen Imperial payroll, with Luke knowing that they can get all the information from her source that he wants now with it. Waba wants to split the loot, however, and live like kings for the next three years. Luke reminds her that there are lives at stake, since if the Imperial presence on the planet find the rebels, they will be murdered. Waba says that he is a good thief, and he's missing out on his true potential, but Luke thinks that there are some Jedi lessons in this, but Waba says there is not, and only wants the loot. But Luke won't hand it over, wanting to find her source so he can learn what he can. Going into town, they witness some Imperials going through the city looking for them, stopping random citizens and asking them about the payroll. Waba tells Luke to put away the lightsaber, but he wants to take on the three stormtroopers, but Waba says those people that they are assaulting are her real friends, and Luke playing Jedi could get them killed. Again, Luke thinks that this is a test, but the frustrated Waba says no. The troopers soon take off as Waba sits in defeat, telling Luke that he's the problem. Luke says that she told him that she could teach him and he needs to learn since his friends are depending on him. Waba relents, revealing that she grew up on Jeddah, not far from the Temple of the Kaiba, and would listen to the stories of the Guardians of the Wills, seeing their miracles and learning from them. She also saw what the Empire did when it came for the Kaiba Crystals, so she knows what good the Force does, but also what bad it causes. She tells Luke to close his eyes, saying she swears that she will teach him. She begins saying that the Force is an energy between all things, and some can use the Force while others can just feel it. She wants Luke to tell her what he feels, so Luke opens his eyes and realises that Waba has stolen his lightsaber and is now on the run. On Lan's Carpo, Han and Leia continue to blend into the dancing crowd with Dar Champion. Da soon dances with Leia, who wants to get on with her mission. As Han dances with another woman, Leia heads outside with Da, who says that her plan to upload fake messages and trick the Empire into attacking Boss Carpo is bad, since the whole city would suffer from it, as well as the thousands of innocents in it. Leia understands, but Da wants to trick Boss Carpo into attacking the Empire, but that too would bring them to the city and bring danger to the people. Dar says that's where she's wrong since it wouldn't bring any danger since in the sky above the city sits Carpos's Panop, his military fortress outpost, and he's been trying to lock up the killers and thieves that are on it since he became district advocate. Dar says that if Boss takes that ship out of the system to fight the Imperials, everyone else wins and the city will be safe. Returning to the dance hall, Dar says that he will upload the new messages and if all goes well, Boss Carpo will be gone within the hour. Han meanwhile watches the two, telling his annoyed dance partner he mostly tries to stay out of trouble, but he's not good at doing that. Some guards notice Han and knock him out, taking him outside for a special delivery up to Boss Carpo's ship. As he's loaded into the transport, Da uploads the new messages, saying within the hour, Boss Carpo will be flying off to war, and he will never return. 
Star Wars issue 72 continued the three-pronged storyline at a nice pace as 3PO is reunited with his master. I'm surprised we didn't actually get a moment of Vader realizing 3PO was his droid that he made when he was a little kid, but maybe we will get something next issue. But also, I think it would be quite cool if Vader doesn't acknowledge it at all since it was part of Anakin's life and Vader likes to think and tell people who know that he is Anakin Skywalker that he killed off all of Anakin. So it would be cool if it's referenced like that. Luke's story continues to be fun and I love how naive he is and how quick to trust he is of these people that seem to know the force but might not and might know it but are using it to like con him out of his lightsaber and use him to benefit themselves so I'm very interested to see what will happen with that. I'm most excited however for Han's story and how he will end up getting out of the jam he has found himself in and save Leia from Dar, who at this point I really wouldn't be shocked if it's revealed that he is actually this big crime boss that they're meant to be fighting in disguise. I'm going to give this issue an 8 out of 10.